Hey everyone, my name is Nick Aldero, and the reason I'm making this video is in case anyone is a coach and they're thinking about quitting their full-time job to pursue their passion of working with kids uh, and teaching them their particular sport, but on their own terms. So the reason I quit my full-time job to pursue my, my dream of, of working for myself and being a full-time uh, basketball skills instructor is because I wanted to do things on my own terms. Uh, I didn't want anyone to tell me what to do. I wanted the freedom to, to work if I wanted to work and not if I wanted to, I didn't want to. And, but most of all is I didn't like how the, uh, I was a teacher, so I didn't like how there was a ceiling on how much money I could make and it didn't matter um, how good or bad you were. So you could be really, really good and amazing and you make the same as if you're really, really bad. Um, for some reason it just it just bothered me to the point where like I had to stop talking about this and actually do something about it. Once I got help, I got Coach uh, Ben to help me start my business, run my business, because I, I knew basketball, I did not know how to run an official business. So anyway, once I got that part down, and I'm, and I'm still learning, I'm not perfect, I'm, I'm always learning new tactics to get better um, in that field, and I started to like match my income consistently, that gave me the confidence to leave my teaching job and go full, full time all in into basketball. Is it scary? Of course. Is it a risk? Of course. But I knew I would regret not not diving all the way in because I knew if I had that teaching salary, it was going to keep me hooked in. Not that I wasn't working before, like working hard to, to match or make more. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes you got to burn the boats and go and go all in. Um, is that for everybody? No. Um, was it for me? No, because it took me two full years of really going into my business after hiring a professional coach um, to really learn what I was doing and how to consistently make an income. And that's just my story. It might not be yours. I don't have any children, so it's, you know, it's easy for me. I wouldn't say easy, but it's much easier to leave your, your full-time occupation when you don't have children, of course. Um, but I know some people are struggling like, you know, maybe you're a teacher watching this and, and you don't want to be a teacher anymore. Maybe you don't want to be told what to do. Maybe you don't want to hand in stupid, useless forms that nobody cares about. And that doesn't mean you don't love working with kids. It's just you don't like the other stuff. Like myself, I hated the other stuff that went around. I love working with kids. I, do, I don't want to hand out straws at lunch duty. Uh, I don't want to watch kids walk on the bus. I want to do my job. I want to teach. I want to connect with the kids. I love that part but it was not on my own terms. When I got serious and I hired somebody to help me, that's when everything changed for me. That's when it gave me the confidence. And then when I either matched or started to make more, I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just do it. Um, and I was, I was 15 years in, and I think it's much harder to leave something that you're comfortable with than to have never started it in the first place. I wish I started my business sooner, but you know what, I didn't. So uh, I started now. But if you're struggling with, you know, what do I do? What Do I stay with my job? Do I not? I think it's important to ask yourself a couple questions like, do you need to burn the boats and, and just jump in for you to take more action than you normally are, which leads to massive action? Are you that type of person? So you got to know yourself. Number two, are you making as much? Can you at least match what you're making pretty consistently? Number three, do you have somebody that, can, that you can go to for help? Um, are you investing in yourself or are you just trying to do this, you know, solo, just trying to figure things out, which is not, it's not wrong, but I think it's best to hire somebody um, who knows what they're doing. Number four, you know, how, what's your work ethic? Like, do you know you want to work? I don't want to just like chill. I want to do stuff. Um, and that sounds like a, like a obvious thing, but you have to, you have to know, like, do you enjoy like working at your craft? Even if you don't enjoy every little tiny detail of working on your business, 
it's for your thing though it's not about you know your job or your boss or you are the boss how much do you really enjoy like getting after it and working on something going after uh, your goals I hope this helps but you know it's much more fulfilling in my opinion to do something on your own um, I wasn't brought up like this I didn't even realize you could start your own business but now uh, you can kind of see the possibilities are, are really endless for people if you're willing to take action and it's going to work out if you keep going and you get help so I hope this video helps if you're looking for help yourself uh, you can text me uh, the number will be either on the screen or in the description and we can hop on a call and you know I can ask you some questions about how your business is going and then give you some pointers about how I think you can move forward and, and get better all right I'll see you next video